Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo July 10, 2022. Faith is often more beautiful than the higher power you have faith in. That is why the stars are telling you to ask yourself certain questions about your beliefs, where they come from, and where they are taking you. So, take the time to think about your religion, if you have one, and what it really means to you. And remember, it's important to be tolerant of other religions too. Go on. Today is probably the day you have to take a great leap forward. Everyone around you knows how you just love taking matters in your own hands. You are a natural born leader. Today, you will as free as a bird and if you meet people just like you today, you could well take off. You should feel that things are really coming together for you. You might find that a project you are working on suddenly takes off. You could get some positive feedback from others for your ideas. All the research and preparation that you have done will prove worthwhile. You could also find people supportive of you in a more personal way. Someone could give you a recommendation or an important introduction. Your thoughts may turn to fashion today, and the different ways in which you can improve your wardrobe. Don't be afraid to create a look for yourself that reflects your true inner spirit. Decorate yourself in external splendor to illustrate the many different colors and layers that you carry on the inside. Don't hesitate to pick up a fashion magazine off the grocery store rack. Relations with your circle of friends will strengthen. Opposing points of view can be easily reconciled and you are able to create an open, tolerant atmosphere. The mutual trust you share will increase and other people feel at ease with you. Perhaps someone will reveal intimate details to you that make your ties to him or her even more intensive. You're itching for an intense gabfest about the big issues that you see all around you. It won't be hard to slide into a long talk with your closest people, they're waiting for you to jump in. Strengthen existing relationships by proposing new venues and occasions to meet. If there is someone you want to give a more important role in your life, let them know or give them a sign. If the object of your desire doesn't react to your gentle attempts do not change your strategy, be patient, bide your time. You might feel like you have more energy than you normally do. Take advantage of it by tackling whatever projects had you stymied the week before. Odds are, you'll have an easier time of it this time around. A new idea or different approach to an old problem could all of a sudden occur to you today. Make the most of the day's extra energy and let your inner talent shine through. You will be satisfied with what you have accomplished by the end of the day. A day so rich in your own vibration can increase your understanding of the people in your family. Even though you might feel that you are worlds apart from the style and ways of them, you are sure to feel affection for them. Let this caring guide you toward more understanding and acceptance of each person. This can lead to greater insight from them when it comes to you and your ways. You are sure to gain more acceptance by setting the example yourself. You are likely to enjoy the day ahead. You have been changing so much lately that you were in need of a brief reassurance such as today will bring. You may have feared losing yourself to some extent, or losing your friends. You may have been afraid that your partner would no longer be able to understand you. But today, you are glowing, full of hope for tomorrow. How could anyone resist loving your bright spirit? Thanks to the moon's departure from your income sector yesterday, this has done more than just leave you with a better sense of where the money is as Venus, the planet of money moves into her final nine days in your career sector. The moon not only formed a friendly aspect to Venus as it moves through but to Saturn in your work sector, leaving you with a download of information, insights and messages to unpack from across the income, work and career fronts. The moon's first visit to your communication sector since Neptune's retrograde turn in your relationship sector last week and the last before Juno's retrograde turn here later in the month, is making it easier to give your emotional responses, relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. At the same time, with Juno, the queen of commitment and especially commitment to your relationship still in direct motion it is not too late to make new resolutions. Our eyes in the sky. Today is the third time Mercury and Neptune have squared off over the past few months. 
The first time was on May 22, setting the tone, and the tension, for Mercury's retrograde that started on May 29. The second time these two planets squared off was on June 5, during the height of Mercury's retrograde. Paranoia, anxiety, and uncertainty could heighten. Mercury is in its post-retrograde shadow until tomorrow, so it's important to realize that we may not hear or understand the whole truth of some situations. This is a very sensitive astrological aspect, which could make people assume the worst. Depression and friction could rise, and the chance of projection is high, so be careful not to soak up other people's sentiments. Be kind and compassionate, and don't take your bad moods out on others. If people come at you with drama, you can opt to disengage. Take care of yourself and put your needs first. Tonight, Venus in Leo opposes Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. This could make us feel insecure, as though others are ignoring us. Don't worry about what people are doing and feeling. Only focus on how you're feeling. Give yourself an emotional lift by implementing self-care in your routine to help you feel better. If you are awake before the sun, treat yourself like royalty by staying in your cozy bed. Or if you're up early, treat yourself to an elaborate breakfast, ideally made by someone else. There's an early morning moon-Jupiter opposition that can transmit good feelings and the desire to be super generous and kind, but the more nice gestures you make the more attention you get, which is something that you probably won't want during this aspect. You like doing things for others and now because it makes you feel good, not because you want to be recognized for it, and the more thanks you get the more it actually lessens your experience. But don't try to overcomplicate things too much now. Just after midnight, Mercury in Scorpio squares Neptune in Pisces. We have one more day to go before Mercury completes its post-retrograde shadow, and as it aspects the planet of illusion and delusion, the cosmic messenger seems determined to pack one final punch. Our interactions are confusing and subject to misunderstandings. We are liable to only hear what we want to hear and see what we want to see. Our imagination might lead us into blissful territory, only to dissolve into disappointment when the rose-colored glasses inevitably come off. This is a bad time for giving or receiving advice, which means we would also do well to avoid metaphysical consultations. Even if we receive a cohesive message from a reader, we will filter it through our own optimistic projections, skewing its intended impact. In the evening, the Scorpio moon sextals Venus in Leo, a good time to lounge with friends and socialize. Although the confusion of the day might linger into the night, there's no reason to keep ourselves isolated if we are aware of the pitfalls of over-idealism. We can certainly get a lot out of our interactions with others now, especially in relaxed conversation. Remember that avoiding gossip and being upfront in our interactions will limit the risk of misinterpretation and invite in goodwill.